In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The Noble Qur'an, Part 30, Chapter 78, an naba the News. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. About what are they asking one another? About the great news, that over which they are in disagreement. No, they are going to know. Then no, they are going to know. Have we not made the earth a resting place? and the mountains are stakes, and we created you in pairs, and made your sleep a means for rest, and made the night as clothing, and made the day for livelihood, and constructed above you seven strong heavens, and made therein a burning lamp, and sent down from the rain clouds pouring water, that we may bring forth thereby grain and vegetation, and gardens of entwined growth. Indeed, the day of judgment is an appointed time, the day the horn is blown, and you will come forth in multitudes, and the heaven is opened, and will become gateways, and the mountains are removed, and will be but a mirage. Indeed, hell has been lying in wait. For the transgressors, a place of return, in which they will remain for ages unending. They will not taste therein any coolness or drink, except scalding water, and foul purulence, and appropriate recompense. Indeed, they were not expecting an account, and denied our verses with emphatic denial. But all things we have enumerated in writing, so taste the penalty, and never will we increase you except in torment. Indeed for the righteous is attainment, gardens and grapevines, and full-breasted companions of equal age, and a full cup, no ill speech will they hear therein, or any falsehood, as reward from your Lord, a generous gift made due by account from the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, the most merciful. They possess not from him authority for speech. The day that the Spirit, that is Gabriel, and the angels will stand in rows, they will not speak, except for one whom the most merciful permits, and he will say what is correct. That is the true, that is certain day. So he who wills may take to his Lord a way of return. Indeed, we have warned you of a near punishment, on the day when a man will observe what his hands have put forth, and the disbeliever will say, Oh, I wish that I were dust. This completes Chapter 78, an naba the News. Chapter 79, an naziat the Extractors. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, by those angels who extract with violence, and by those who remove with ease, and by those who glide as if swimming, and those who race each other in a race, and those who arrange each matter, on the day the blast of the horn will convulse creation, there will follow it the subsequent one. Hearts that day will tremble, their eyes humbled, they are presently saying, Will we indeed be returned to our former state of life, even if we should be decayed bones? They say, That then would be a losing return. Indeed, it will be but one shout, and suddenly they will be alert upon the earth's surface. Has there reached you the story of Moses, when his Lord called to him in the sacred valley of Tua, Go to Pharaoh, indeed he has transgressed, and say to him, Would you be willing to purify yourself, and let me guide you to your Lord, so you would fear him? And he showed him the greatest sign. But he, that is Pharaoh, denied and disobeyed. Then he turned his back, striving, that is plotting. And he gathered his people and called out, and said, I am your most exalted Lord. So Allah seized him in exemplary punishment for the last and the first transgression. Indeed, in that is a lesson, that is warning, for whoever would fear Allah. Are you a more difficult creation, or is the heaven? He, that is Allah, constructed it. He raised its ceiling and proportioned it, and he darkened its night and extracted its brightness and after that he spread the earth. He extracted from it its water and its pasture, and the mountains he set firmly, as enjoyment that is provision for you and your grazing livestock. But when there comes the greatest overwhelming calamity, the day when man will remember that for which he strove, and hellfire will be exposed for all those who see, so as for he who transgressed and preferred the life of the world, then indeed hellfire will be his refuge. But as for he who feared the position of his Lord, and prevented the soul from unlawful inclination, then indeed paradise will be his refuge. They ask you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, about the hour, when is its arrival? 
In what position are you that you should mention it? To your Lord is its finality. You are only a warner for those who fear it. It will be, on the day they see it, as though they had not remained in the world, except for an afternoon or a morning thereof. This completes chapter 79, An-Naziat, The Extractors. Chapter 80, Abasa, He Frowned. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. He, that is the Prophet, peace be upon him, frowned and turned away, because there came to him the blind man, interrupting, but what would make you perceive, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, that perhaps he might be purified, or be reminded, and the remembrance would benefit him? As for he who thinks himself without need, to him you give attention, and not upon you is any blame if he will not be purified. But as for he who came to you striving for knowledge, while he fears Allah, from him you are distracted. No, indeed they, that is, these verses are a reminder, so whoever wills may remember it. It is recorded in honoured sheets, exalted and purified, carried by the hands of messenger angels, noble and dutiful. Destroyed, that is cursed, is man. How disbelieving is he! From what thing, that is substance, did he create him? From a sperm drop he created him, and destined for him. Then he eased the way for him. Then he causes his death, and provides a grave for him. Then when he wills, he will resurrect him. No, he that is man has not yet accomplished what he commanded him. Then let mankind look at his food, how we poured down water in torrents. Then we broke open the earth, splitting it with sprouts, and caused to grow within it grain, and grapes, and herbage, and olive and palm trees, and gardens of dense shrubbery, and fruit and grass, as enjoyment that is provision for you and your grazing livestock. But when there comes the deafening blast, on the day a man will flee from his brother, and his mother, and his father, and his wife and his children, for every man that day will be a matter adequate for him. Some faces that day will be bright, laughing, rejoicing at good news, and other faces that day will have upon them dust, blackness will cover them. Those are the disbelievers, the wicked ones. This completes chapter 80, Abasa, He Frowned. Chapter 81, at taqweer The Wrapping. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. When the sun is wrapped up in darkness, and when the stars fall dispersing, and when the mountains are removed, and when full-term she-camels are neglected, and when the wild beasts are gathered, and when the seas are filled with flame, and when the souls are paired, and when the girl who was buried alive is asked, for what sin she was killed, and when the pages are spread that is made public, and when the sky is stripped away, and when hellfire is set ablaze, and when paradise is brought near, a soul will then know what it has brought with it. So I swear by the retreating stars, those that run their courses and disappear, that is set, and by the night as it closes in, and by the dawn when it breathes, that is stirs, that indeed it, that is the Qur'an, is a word conveyed by a noble messenger, that is Gabriel, who is possessed of power, and with the owner of the throne, secure in position, obeyed there in the heavens and trustworthy, and your companion, that is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not at all mad, and he has already seen him, that is Gabriel, in the clear horizon, and he, that is Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not a withholder of knowledge of the unseen, and it, that is the Qur'an, is not the word of a devil expelled from the heavens. So where are you going? It is not except a reminder to the worlds, for whoever wills among you to take a right course, and you do not will except that Allah wills, Lord of the worlds. This completes chapter 81, at taqweer the wrapping. Chapter 82, Al-Infitar, the breaking apart. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. When the sky breaks apart, and when the stars fall scattering, and when the seas are erupted, and when the contents of graves are scattered, that is exposed, a soul will then know what it has put forth and kept back. O mankind, what has deceived you concerning your Lord, the Generous, who created you, proportioned you, and balanced you? In whatever form he willed, has he assembled you? No, but you deny the recompense, and indeed appointed over you are keepers, noble and recording. 
they know whatever you do. Indeed, the righteous will be in pleasure, and indeed the wicked will be in hellfire. They will enter to burn therein on the day of recompense, and never therefrom will they be absent. And what can make you know what is the day of recompense? Then, what can make you know what is the day of recompense? It is the day when a soul will not possess for another soul power to do a thing, and the command, that day, is entirely with Allah. This completes Chapter 82, Al-Infitar, The Breaking Apart. Chapter 83, Al-Mutaffifin, Those Who Give Less, In the Name of Allah, The Entirely Merciful, The Especially Merciful. Woe to those who give less than due, who, when they take a measure from people, take in full. But if they give by measure or by weight to them, they cause loss. Do they not think that they will be resurrected for a tremendous day, the day when mankind will stand before the Lord of the worlds? No, indeed the record of the wicked is in Sijin. And what can make you know what is Sijin? It is their destination recorded in a register inscribed. Woe that day to the deniers, who deny the day of recompense, and none deny it except every sinful transgressor. When our verses are recited to him, he says, Legends of the former peoples. No, rather the stain has covered their hearts of that which they were earning. No, indeed from their Lord that day they will be partitioned. Then indeed they will enter and burn in hellfire. Then it will be said to them, This is what you used to deny. No, indeed, the record of the righteous is in Illiyun. And what can make you know what is Illiyun? It is their destination, recorded in a register inscribed, which is witnessed by those brought near to Allah. Indeed, the righteous will be in pleasure, on adorned couches observing. You will recognize in their faces the radiance of pleasure. They will be given to drink pure wine, which was sealed. The last of it is musk, so for this let the competitors compete. And its mixture is of tasneem, a spring from which those near to Allah drink. Indeed, those who committed crimes used to laugh at those who believed. And when they passed by them, they would exchange derisive glances. And when they returned to their people, they would return jesting. And when they saw them, they would say, Indeed, those are truly lost. But they had not been sent as guardians over them. So today, those who believed are laughing at the disbelievers, on adorned couches, observing, have the disbelievers not been rewarded this day for what they used to do. This completes Chapter 83, Al-Mutaffifin, Those Who Give Less. Chapter 84, Al-Inshiqaq, The Splitting, In the Name of Allah, The Entirely Merciful, The Especially Merciful. When the sky has split open, and has listened that is responded to its Lord, and was obligated to do so. And when the earth has been extended, and has cast out that within it, and relinquished it, and has listened that is responded to its Lord, and was obligated to do so. O mankind, indeed you are laboring toward your Lord with great exertion, and will meet it. Then as for he who is given his record in his right hand, he will be judged with an easy account, and return to his people in happiness. But as for he who is given his record behind his back, he will cry out for destruction, and enter to burn in a blaze. Indeed, he had once been among his people in happiness. Indeed, he had thought he would never return to Allah. But yes, indeed his Lord was ever of him, seeing. So I swear by the twilight glow, and by the night and what it envelops, and by the moon when it becomes full, that you will surely embark upon, that is, experience state after state. So what is the matter with them that they do not believe? And when the Qur'an is recited to them, they do not prostrate to Allah, but those who have disbelieved deny. And Allah is most knowing of what they keep within themselves. So give them tidings of a painful punishment, except for those who believe and do righteous deeds. For them is a reward uninterrupted. This completes chapter 84, Al-Inshiqaq. The Splitting. Chapter 85. Al-Buruj. The Great Stars. In the name of Allah. The Entirely Merciful. The Especially Merciful. By the sky containing great stars, and by the promised day, and by the witness and what is witnessed, destroyed that is cursed were the companions of the trench, containing the fire full of fuel, when they were sitting near it. And they to what they were doing against the believers were witnesses. And they resented them, not except because they believed in Allah, the exalted in might, the praiseworthy. 
to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and Allah over all things is witness. Indeed, those who have tortured the believing men and believing women, and then have not repented, will have the punishment of hell, and they will have the punishment of the burning fire. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds will have gardens beneath which rivers flow. That is the great attainment. Indeed, the assault, that is vengeance of your Lord, is severe. Indeed, it is he who originates creation and repeats, and he is the forgiving, the affectionate, honorable owner of the throne, effector of what he intends. Has they reached you the story of the soldiers, those of Pharaoh and Thamud, but they who disbelieve are in persistent denial, while Allah encompasses them from behind. But this is an honored Qur'an, inscribed in a preserved slate. This completes Chapter 85, Al-Buruj, The Great Stars. Chapter 86, At-Tariq, That Which Comes at Night, In the Name of Allah, The Entirely Merciful, The Especially Merciful. By the sky and the night comer, and what can make you know what is the night comer? It is the piercing star, there is no soul but that it has over it a protector. So let man observe from what he was created. He was created from a fluid, ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. Indeed he, that is Allah, to return him to life is able. The day when secrets will be put on trial, then he, that is man, will have no power or any helper. By the sky which returns rain, and by the earth which cracks open, Indeed it, that is the Qur'an, is a decisive statement, and it is not amusement. Indeed they are planning a plan, but I am planning a plan. So allow time for the disbelievers, leave them a while. This completes chapter 86, At-Tariq, that which comes at night. Chapter 87, Al-A'la, the Most High, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Exalt the name of your Lord, the Most High, who created and proportioned, and who destined and then guided, and who brings out the pasture, and then makes it black stubble. We will make you recite, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you will not forget, except what Allah should will. Indeed, he knows what is declared and what is hidden, and we will ease you toward ease. So remind if the reminder should benefit. He who fears Allah will be reminded, but the wretched one will avoid it. He who will enter and burn in the greatest fire, neither dying therein nor living. He has certainly succeeded who purifies himself, and mentions the name of his Lord and prays. But you prefer the worldly life, while the hereafter is better and more enduring. Indeed, this is in the former scriptures, the scriptures of Abraham and Moses. This completes Chapter 87, Al-A'la, The Most High. Chapter 88, al Ghashiyah the overwhelming, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Has there reached you the report of the overwhelming event? Some faces that day will be humbled, working hard and exhausted. They will enter to burn in an intensely hot fire. They will be given drink from a boiling spring. For them there will be no food except from a poisonous thorny plant, which neither nourishes nor avails against hunger. Other faces that day will show pleasure. With their effort they are satisfied. In an elevated garden, wherein they will hear no unsuitable speech. Within it is a flowing spring. Within it are couches raised high, and cups put in place, and cushions lined up, and carpets spread around. Then do they not look at the camels, how they are created, and at the sky, how it is raised, and at the mountains, how they are erected, and at the earth, how it is spread out. So remind, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, you are only a reminder, you are not over them a controller. However, he who turns away and disbelieves, then Allah will punish him with the greatest punishment. Indeed, to us is their return. Then indeed, upon us is their account. This completes Chapter 88, al ghashia The Overwhelming. Chapter 89, Al-Fajr, The Dawn, In the Name of Allah, The Entirely Merciful, the especially merciful, by the dawn, and by ten nights, and by the even number and the odd, and by the night when it passes. Is there not in all that an oath sufficient for one of perception? Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with Ad, with Iram, who had lofty pillars, the likes of whom had never been created in the land, 
and with Thamud, who carved out the rocks in the valley, and with Pharaoh, owner of the stakes, all of whom oppressed within the lands, and increased therein the corruption. So your Lord poured upon them a scourge of punishment. Indeed, your Lord is in observation. And as for man, when his Lord tries him, and thus is generous to him, and favours him, he says, My Lord has honoured me. But when he tries him, and restricts his provision, he says, My Lord has humiliated me. No, but you do not honour the orphan, and you do not encourage one another to feed the poor, and you consume inheritance, devouring it altogether, and you love wealth with immense love. No, when the earth has been levelled, pounded and crushed, and your Lord has come, and the angels rank upon rank, and brought within view that day is hell, that day man will remember. But how, that is what good to him will be the remembrance. He will say, Oh, I wish I had sent ahead some good for my life. So on that day none will punish as severely as his punishment, and none will bind as severely as his binding of the evildoers. To the righteous it will be said, O reassured soul, return to your Lord, well pleased and pleasing to him, and enter among my righteous servants, and enter my paradise. This completes chapter 89, Al-Fajr, the dawn. Chapter 90, Al-Balad, the city. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. I swear by this city that is Makkah, and you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, are free of restriction in this city, and by the Father, and that which was born of him. We have certainly created man into hardship. Does he think that never will anyone overcome him? He says, I have spent wealth in abundance. Does he think that no one has seen him? Have we not made for him two eyes, and a tongue, and two lips, and have shown him the two ways? But he has not broken through the difficult pass. And what can make you know what is breaking through the difficult pass? It is the freeing of a slave, or feeding on a day of severe hunger, an orphan of near relationship, or a needy person in misery and then being among those who believed, and advised one another to patience, and advised one another to compassion. Those are the companions of the right. But they who disbelieved in our signs, those are the companions of the left. Over them will be fire closed in. This completes chapter 90, Al-Balad, the city. Chapter 91, Ash-Shams, the sun. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. By the sun and its brightness, and by the moon when it follows it, and by the day when it displays it, and by the night when it covers that is conceals it, and by the sky and he who constructed it, and by the earth and he who spread it, and by the soul and he who proportioned it, and inspired it with the discernment of its wickedness and its righteousness. He has succeeded who purifies it, and he has failed who instills it with corruption. Thamud denied their prophet by reason of their transgression. When the most wretched of them was sent forth, and the messenger of Allah, that is Salih, said to them, Do not harm the she-camel of Allah, or prevent her from her drink. But they denied him, and hamstrung her. So their Lord brought down upon them destruction for their sin, and made it equal upon all of them. And he does not fear the consequence thereof. This completes chapter 91, Ash-Shams, the sun. Chapter 92, Al-Layl, the night, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, by the night when it covers, and by the day when it appears, and by he who created the male and female, indeed your efforts are diverse. As for he who gives and fears Allah, and believes in the best reward, we will ease him toward ease. But as for he who withholds, and considers himself free of need, and denies the best reward, we will ease him toward difficulty. And what will his wealth avail him when he falls? Indeed incumbent upon us is guidance, and indeed to us belongs the hereafter and the first life. So I have warned you of a fire which is blazing. None will enter to burn therein except the most wretched one, who had denied and turned away, but the righteous one will avoid it. He who gives from his wealth to purify himself, and not giving for any one who has done him a favour to be rewarded, but only seeking the countenance of his Lord Most High, and he is going to be satisfied. This completes chapter 92, Al-Layl, the night. Chapter 93, Ad-Duha, the morning brightness. 
in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. By the morning brightness, and by the night when it covers with darkness, your Lord has not taken leave of you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, nor has he detested you. And the hereafter is better for you than the first life. And your Lord is going to give you, and you will be satisfied. Did he not find you an orphan and give you refuge? And he found you lost and guided you. And he found you poor and made you self-sufficient. So as for the orphan, do not oppress him. And as for the petitioner, do not repel him. But as for the favor of your Lord, report it. This completes chapter 93, ad duha the morning brightness. Chapter 94, Ash-Shar, the expansion. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Did we not expand for you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, your breast? And we removed from you your burden, which had weighed upon your back, and raised high for you your repute. For indeed with hardship will be ease, that is relief. Indeed with hardship will be ease. So when you have finished your duties, then stand up for worship, and to your Lord direct your longing. This completes chapter 94, Ash-Shar, the expansion. Chapter 95, At-Teen, the fig, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, by the fig and the olive, and by Mount Sinai, and by this secure city that is Makkah, we have certainly created man in the best of stature. Then we return him to the lowest of the low, except for those who believe and do righteous deeds, for they will have a reward uninterrupted. So what yet causes you to deny the recompense? Is not Allah the most just of judges? This completes chapter 95, at teen the fig. Chapter 96, Al-Alaq, the clinging or suspended substance. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Recite in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clinging substance. Recite, and your Lord is the most generous, who taught by the pen, taught man that which he knew not. No, but indeed man transgresses, because he sees himself self-sufficient. Indeed to your Lord is the return. Have you seen the one who forbids a servant when he prays? Have you seen if he is upon guidance, or enjoins righteousness? Have you seen if he denies and turns away? Does he not know that Allah sees? No, if he does not desist, we will surely drag him by the forelock, a lying, sinning forelock. Then let him call his associates. We will call the angels of hell. No, do not obey him, but prostrate and draw near to Allah. This completes chapter 96, Al-Alaq, the clinging or suspended substance. Chapter 97, Al-Qadr, decree or destiny. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Indeed we sent it, that is the Qur'an, down during the night of decree. And what can make you know what is the night of decree? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit, that is Gabriel, descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. This completes chapter 97, Al-Qadr, Decree or Destiny. Chapter 98, al bayyina Clear Evidence. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Those who disbelieved among the people of the scripture and the polytheists were not to be parted from misbelief until there came to them clear evidence. A messenger from Allah reciting purified scriptures within which are correct writings, that is rulings and laws. Nor did those who were given the scripture become divided until after there had come to them clear evidence. And they were not commanded except to worship Allah, being sincere to him in religion, inclining to truth, and to establish prayer, and to give zakah, and that is the correct religion. Indeed, they who disbelieved among the people of the scripture and the polytheists will be in the fire of hell, abiding eternally therein. Those are the worst of creatures. Indeed, they who have believed and done righteous deeds, those are the best of creatures. Their reward with Allah will be gardens of perpetual residence, beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever, Allah being pleased with them, and they with Him. That is for whoever has feared His Lord. This completes chapter 98, al bayyina Clear Evidence. Chapter 99, Az-Zalzala, The Earthquake, In the Name of Allah, The Entirely Merciful, The Especially Merciful. When the earth is shaken with its final earthquake, and the earth discharges its burdens, 
and man says, What is wrong with it? That day it will report its news, because your Lord has inspired that is commanded it. That day the people will depart, separated into categories, to be shown the result of their deeds. So whoever does an atom's weight of good will see it, and whoever does an atom's weight of evil will see it. This completes chapter 99, Az-Zalzala, the earthquake. Chapter 100, Al-Adiyat, the racers, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. By the racers panting, and the producers of sparks when striking, and the chargers at dawn, stirring up thereby clouds of dust, arriving thereby in the center collectively. Indeed, mankind to his Lord is ungrateful, and indeed he is to that a witness, and indeed he is, in love of wealth, intense. But does he not know that when the contents of the graves are scattered, and that within the breasts is obtained, indeed their Lord with them that day is fully acquainted? This completes chapter 100. Al-Adiyat, the racers. Chapter 101, Al-Qariya, that which strikes, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The striking calamity. What is the striking calamity? And what can make you know what is the striking calamity? It is the day when people will be like moths, dispersed, and the mountains will be like wool, fluffed up. Then as for one whose scales are heavy with good deeds, he will be in a pleasant life. But as for one whose scales are light, his refuge will be an abyss. And what can make you know what that is? It is a fire, intensely hot. This completes chapter 101, Al-Qariya, that which strikes. Chapter 102, At-Takathur, competition in increase. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Competition in worldly increase diverts you until you visit the graveyards. No, you are going to know. Then no, you are going to know. No, if you only knew with knowledge of certainty, you will surely see the hellfire. Then you will surely see it with the eye of certainty. Then you will surely be asked that day about pleasure. This completes chapter 102, at the Kathur, competition in increase. Chapter 103, Al-Asr, time, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful by time. Indeed, mankind is in loss, except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds, and advised each other to truth, and advised each other to patience. This completes chapter 103, Al-Asr, Time. Chapter 104, Al-Humaza, The Scorner, In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Woe to every scorner and mocker, who collects wealth and continuously counts it, he thinks that his wealth will make him immortal. No, he will surely be thrown into the crusher. And what can make you know what is the crusher? It is the fire of Allah, eternally fueled, which mounts directed at the hearts. Indeed it, that is hellfire, will be closed down upon them in extended columns. This completes chapter 104, Al-Humaza, the scorner. Chapter 105, Al-Fil, the elephant, in the name of Allah the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Have you not considered, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, how your Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant? Did he not make their plan into misguidance? And he sent against them birds in flocks, striking them with stones of hard clay, and he made them like eaten straw. This completes chapter 105, Al-Fil, the elephant. Chapter 106, Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. For the accustomed security of the Quraysh, their accustomed security in the caravan of winter and summer, let them worship the Lord of this house, who has fed them, saving them from hunger, and made them safe, saving them from fear. This completes chapter 106, Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh. Chapter 107, Al Ma'un, assistance, in the name of Allah the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Have you seen the one who denies the recompense? For that is the one who drives away the orphan, and does not encourage the feeding of the poor. So woe to those who pray, but who are heedless of their prayer, those who make show of their deeds, and withhold simple assistance. This completes chapter 107, Al-Ma'un, Assistance. Chapter 108, Al-Kothar, 
the most abundant good, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Indeed, we have granted you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, al kawthar So pray to your Lord and sacrifice to him alone. Indeed, your enemy is the one cut off. This completes chapter 108, al kawthar the most abundant good. Chapter 109, al kafirun the disbelievers. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Say, O disbelievers, I do not worship what you worship, nor are you worshippers of what I worship, nor will I be a worshipper of what you worship, nor will you be worshippers of what I worship. For you is your religion, and for me is my religion. This completes chapter 109, Al-Kafirun, the disbelievers. Chapter 110, An-Nasr, victory. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. When the victory of Allah has come and the conquest, and you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes, then exalt him with praise of your Lord and ask forgiveness of him. Indeed, he is ever accepting of repentance. This completes chapter 110, An-Nasr, victory. Chapter 111, Al-Masad, fiber. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined, and ruined is he. His wealth will not avail him, or that which he gained. He will enter to burn in a fire of blazing flame, and his wife as well, the carrier of firewood. Around her neck is a rope of twisted fiber. This completes chapter 111, Al-Masad, Fiber. Chapter 112, Al-Ikhlas, Purification. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Say, He is Allah, who is one. Allah, the eternal refuge. He neither begets, nor is born, nor is there to him any equivalent. This completes chapter 112, Al-Ikhlas, Purification. Chapter 113, Al-Falaq, Daybreak. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of Daybreak, from the evil of that which he created, and from the evil of darkness when it settles, and from the evil of the blowers in knots, and from the evil of an envier when he envies. This completes chapter 113, Al-Falaq, Daybreak. Chapter 114, An-Nas, People or Mankind. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, the sovereign of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil of the retreating whisperer, who whispers evil into the breasts of mankind, from among the jinn and mankind. This completes chapter 114, An-Nas, People or Mankind. This completes the full translation of the Noble Qur'an, 